Hey, Sean, good to see you. How you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Welcome in. Been a good year for you. Yes. People have been telling the website, so we need to talk more about Ray Sean. I'm gonna get Ray Sean in here and let him do something to talk about Ray Sean mm-hmm. night. It's been a good year. I was I was going crazy with that Ragsdale game. I was pumping Ray Sean up big then, and you had a good game against Ragsdale. Yes. Kenyon Taylor had a good game that night too. But boy, talk about a big game last week. I was thinking about this today. Uh, Matt Pulaski is over at Guilford College, another quarterback. That's so we need to get Ray Sean out. If he hadn't got picked up yet, let's get Guilford College to pick up Ray Sean with that pinpoint pass in 14 of 14 last week. Yes. That had to go well for you. Went really good. Was it the short passes, long, or a little bit of both? Both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just made made my correct reads, and they was open. Tell you what, Nathan Center did a good job for you guys last year, but you yes. guys did not. I mean, no, never going to disrespect anybody who was there before because the guys that came before us, so the guys really established what you guys were able to do today. But yes. boy, you guys haven't missed too many beats this year. It's yeah, surprising. We were playing really good, you know. We had to adapt to, you know, without Reggie. So, you know, our offense, we had to, uh, a lot of people had to make a lot of plays and stuff like that. So, you know, we did. We started off a little rough. You know, I think we got things rolling, so we're doing good now. Rolling out for sure, and it seems like last week, Nigel Thomas came back a little bit more. We see Amon Harris. Are both those guys healthy now? Well, Amon, I don't think he's going to play tomorrow. You know, his ankle still hurts. had to be uh, out, of, out of kilter a little bit because I know this last week he sure, was not in there quite as much. Yeah, Nigel the, the Thomas had come in a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah, Amon had that. He suffered an ankle injury at Asheboro. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty tough for him right now. Well, that was a big win. 21 7 you guys yes. beat Asheboro. A huge win. That kind of gave you guys a great shot. What would it mean to win the conference again this year? That's going to mean a lot. No, what's what's it going to take to win and win? Because tomorrow night, I may be wrong, but I'm kind of getting the feel tomorrow night's a big game for you. Let yes. Me. It's going to be a real tough game. You know, left for our, they're always aggressive. You know, the calls, we don't get a lot of calls when we go to left for, you know, the crowd is in the game. So it's really tough. It's going to, everybody's going to be real focused. But I think we can get it done. I was thinking last year, even the year before, you guys had a tight game on left for the one time. It was they may have been two years game. ago. Yeah. 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 They always play you guys tough. Yeah. Then. Really tough. There's a really good team. What's it going to take to uh, go ahead and put it all together? and win this conference and I know you guys want to run the table because mm-hmm. tomorrow night's it though isn't it? Yes. Tomorrow these guys regular season over tomorrow night they finish up their eight and two now, a chance to go nine and two and win the conference outright. Nobody can touch you in tomorrow night's game. Yes. What will it take to get that done? I think it's gonna start off with me, you know, just keeping my offense smooth, making a lot of plays, making smart decisions. Defense gonna they're gonna take care of it. I how ain't worried about defense. You, how many uh, you can't tell us the total number, but kinda give us an idea. How much did you play at quarterback last year? Mm. Not a lot, I'd say whenever we uh, was born a team out, that's when I pretty much got in. And when he scored kind of lopsided, you yeah. came in. Did you play another position last year? No. Just, just watch them uh, outside? Just watch them. And you're a senior this year? Yes. You waited your turn. Waited my man, turn. That's tough to do, man. you got to be tough to do that. I mean, yes. the best thing about it is, though, what happened last year is important because you guys established something good for the very good. You've been doing it the past couple years, a very good football yes. program. What matters most for you right now, even for the team, too, is what's going on today, right now. Yes. Current moment. What happened last year? I mean, it was, you, gr- it was great last year, yeah. but you know, it's a new year. And, and people look at the way you finish, senior mm-hmm. year, and look at those numbers. I looked at them on the website. I mean, you're right up there with uh, Will Jones and right up there with Hooker and all those guys. I think you're right. No, actually, if my memory is correct. I think you're number two behind Will Jones. Yes, so sir. Pass in yards. You play one more game than he has, but you see you're right there with the major guys. Yes, sir. In the first year full time at quarterback. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot from Stoner last year. You know, on the sideline, gave me, you know, see how he ran the offense. It just helped me understand the offense better. And I think that's what helped me out a lot, too, last year, just be able to watch him. Throw us out there, because I think I know the guys. Throw it out there with the people following the program tonight. Your top receivers. Who are your receivers? I know you target about three or four certain guys. Who are those top receivers? Uh, Ron Hutt, Kenyon Taylor, and Tark Hop. I would be wrong, but I'm going to put this assumption out there. I'm just thinking of my end, watching what you guys have done this year, watching a few of your games. Kenyon Taylor's made a difference. He's been a helper. Yes. Um, we do, we use him a lot for the screens because he's a better runner when he catches the ball. Ron Hunt, I like him going deep. Mm-hmm. He attacks the ball better. And Tark, he's in a mix of both of those. Yeah, because you can see Ron Hunt went down the field toward that right corner in a playoff game last month early in the playoffs. I mean, you hit him with that pass, he's going to catch it every time. Oh, yes. And you can see Kenyon Taylor. Kenyon's good not only as far as, like you mentioned, those screens because of his running. I like Kenyon Taylor, too, when he comes around those end-around plays. Yes, on the jet sweep. Yeah, the, yeah. Jet, the jet sweep. i got to remember to be sure I call that the jet sweep. Those, I call it the old end-around, but exactly. He's outstanding on those. How much fun has it been to be able to lead this team this year, step up and the way things have gone for you? We know you've been successful, but aside from all that success, how, much is, how good has it been to be able to lead this team? You know, it's been fun. I've been waiting for my moment for a very long time. I worked hard during the summer after last year. I put on about 15 pounds. Mm. What did you weigh before then? 155. 
You were 155. I was 155 last year, and then coming into this year, I was 170. That's a pretty big jump there. Yeah. I worked really hard, you know, got my mechanics right. I was a little side arm it last year. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm working on that. Uh, my deep ball is a lot stronger. I know one thing, Stoner, uh, his deep ball was a lot stronger than mine last year, so I know that had a big part in it, too. Uh, the colleges even uh, doing some talk here already? Um, I got a letter from Methodist. I went up there to on a visit with them. They said they liked me, so I guess. That's an interesting football school, too, because I hear yeah. they because the guy told me a day before, yes, they've got like a hundred and some players on their JV team. Yes. That's how big football is down at Methodist. But I still like that Guilford College team. I love to watch those <laughs> local guys play. And you would be a pinpoint, pan, uh, pinpoint passer for the Quakers maybe in the future. And I uh, got a few guys. Kemar Batchel's over there hanging yes. tough. Yes, Kemar's over there. Well, I know you know guys. I do that. Uh, I think he's number five this year. Austin Thomas. Yeah, I remember Austin Thomas. He's a good receiver. Yes. Very good receiver. A lot of possibilities. And Nathan was going to play for Guilford. He kind of changed his mind. There was some position change. He did. I think Nathan's saying he'd been injured so much over his career. Yes. I think he just got to get the side of this. What about now. yourself? Any injuries over the course of time? Mm, no, not really. Nothing serious, nothing no. major, nothing significant. A little bruises say. here and there, but that's oh, fine. Yeah. What about uh, going back before you took over this year, back in JV, back in middle school? I mean, back in the day, you come up through football, I guess, right? No, I started playing football pretty much eighth grade year. I didn't. I mean, it was okay then. They taught me to play in high school because I wasn't going to play in high school. You were going to play in high school? Yeah, I'm a basketball man. I was a basketball right? man at the time. Wow. Think about it. I, I maybe kind of knew you were because I thought I was suddenly going to uh, basketball too. Coach Evan Fancourt doing a good yes. job trying to turn that team around. Mm -hmm. Guard, I'm sure. Yes. Point or the two? Uh, shooting guard. Yeah. Play, I played varsity since freshman year. Yeah, have you real? Yeah. Uh, I'm just throwing the names out there. I love these names from the past. Ever hook up any with Jalen Seegers back in the year? Oh, yeah. Jalen, that's my buddy right there. He's a good man. Somebody, somebody called him Smiley. I mean, he's always Smiley. Yeah, his nickname was Smiley in middle school. I thought school. it might be because, I mean, I didn't, uh, somebody mentioned it yesterday. I said, yeah, it's got, it's got to be him. He's <laughs> always got that smile on his face. Yeah. Nice guy's got some uh, basketball talent. He's got some crazy yeah. kind of basketball talent. He's doing talent. really good. I'm rooting for him. Yep, I hope he does well. I think he may be reclassed and maybe this yes. year with High Point Christian Academy. So we should see who else you might have been with back in that day. There might have been another sub guy or two I'd seen down the road different places. Yeah, if something has that basketball team, maybe when you were a freshman, go back when Coach Greg Thompson was mm -hmm. here. The bet one of the best games I saw that year was the night you guys played Northeast. Remember that night? Yes, I remember night? that you guys night. beat them at your place? Yes. That was a wild night. Big win. That was my big man uh I know Laquan? Yep, Macaulay. Yes. His grandfather, I think he passed away later on, I think mm -hmm. but he was in the stands and then he was telling Jaquan just do what he, <laughs> he was doing it that night. He was. He was I, big help. I love watching that kid play. He went over to uh, New Hope Christian Academy, I think. Yes, I believe he was over there. Yeah, some good guys. So you were with those guys back as a freshman? Yes. All the way through? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's looking forward, I'm sure, to that this year. But the best thing is you want to play, you want to join the basketball team about December the 5th or 7th, somewhere now. Yes. The State later, championship the, first. The later the better. Well, what about last year? I guess you were watching, I'm going to sit that game last year. Saturday night, you guys going right to left, down by that goal line, and Reggie's in the, uh, I guess, the Wildcat spot, I yes. guess, taking a direct snap. Well, I believe it was an extra point. I think it was an extra point because yeah, he's going to go for two to win yeah, the game. Yeah, go for two, yeah, because he's going to do the run play to win the game. Yes. That's a crazy night. Crazy I night. I couldn't believe it, man. How long did it take the guys to get out of that place that night and go home? Did everybody kind of hang around for a while after it was over? Yeah, we just hanged in there. Coach Brown talked to us for a little bit. You know, we still had a great season, but it was just it was just hard because that's not how we wanted to go down. You know, Reggie, everybody was on that team, but it's still, it's always just talking, that's kind of Reggie's team because he put a lot into that yeah, game. Reggie was a very good player. I'm not going to say he was the whole team because, you know, he didn't play a lot of defense. Our defense right. was a big part of, oh, yeah. of, of most of those wins. Yes, sir. But Reggie had a lot to do with it on offense. Do you follow him now that he's in college? Keep yeah, I still talk to him. I uh, went to his game when they played Troy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and uh, Ron Hunt went there. That's good. What do you think Ron might do? You think he might go to college and play? Oh, yeah, he's definitely going. He's undecided right now, but he's definitely going. Anybody else off your current team you think might make it on to college? Uh, Gary Blackburn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a big sturdy guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Romello Herbin. Absolutely. Um, that's probably it right now. Out of the senior class. Yes. Man, right, right. Can they carry on after you guys are gone? Yes. Great the, coach. J, the JV team, if I'm not mistaken, they're like 9 0 playing tonight against yes. Bedford, I guess, for an unbeaten season. Mm -hmm. well, that Southern Guilford program has really come along the past few years. Yes, I got to give it to Coach Brown, you know. They're real good coaches. What do you tell people when they ask about Southern Guilford football? How would you describe Southern Guilford football? You know, passionate. You know, everybody's a team. There's no I in us. Great coaching staff, great head coach. You know, he does a lot of things, a lot of good things for us, and I really appreciate that. Everybody does. And you got to feel good about the fact you're eight and two right now, correct? Yes. And this is your team. Yes. I mean, we say your team because you're the leader, you're the quarterback, mm -hmm. leading this charge. 
What do you have to do to win that game tomorrow night against Ledford? I mean, kind of, you may have told us a little bit about this already before. Kind of reiterate us about that. What are you going to do to beat Ledford? Just make smart, smart decisions on my part. You know, take care of the ball, make my right reads when passing. Other than that, defense is going to take care of the spells, do good on special teams, and we're going to walk out with the win. Anything you do special on game day, any kind of uh, good luck thing you might do to try to go through a regular routine or something you might do the same way every Friday? No, nah, I just do the same thing with my teammates. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Get up in the morning, get a little breakfast? Oh, yes, we do get breakfast. Every Friday morning we go to McDonald's. Do you? Before school, yes. As a team? or? Oh, uh, just me, Ron Hunt, uh, Jaquan Woods, and gotcha. Tarn Hop, and Chris Stimson. And grab some breakfast there at McDonald's. Yeah, sit there and eat. Be back at school, what time school? 8.45? 8.45. Yes. Get there for school and grab the regular lunch at school that day. Yes. After school's over, you got the away game. You got to stay at the school and then. Uh, we have pregame meal. At school? Yeah. Gotcha. Coach Brown has people uh, who feed us. Mm -hmm. Then you guys yeah. don't go home at all at the away nope. game night. After that, we pretty much on the time. So. Dress at the school or dress over there? We just at the school. Yeah, get dressed, uniform on Yeah, get uh, tape, get dressed, and then bus ride there. Any tape for you? No, I don't get any tape. No, need. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Once that tape starts, you hate that routine. Yes. That's a rough routine to have to go through. Uh, college football, North Carolina. Carolina, Duke, and NC State, all three pretty good this year. Who's yes. going to be the best among them? It's all said and done, you think? Probably Duke. Yeah, Duke. And Duke wins against North Carolina. It's going to be huge. North Carolina is like 6-1 on Duke. Duke. Beat Virginia Tech like 45, 42, something crazy mm -hmm. like, in over four overtimes yes. last week. I think Duke is seen that. That's for real. Yeah. Hardly what they're doing now. They're doing some good things. And their quarterback scored, the, I think, the two Yeah, uh, I think it was a uh, Reed, maybe. The option Reed, something yeah, like that. Yeah, and he scored the big uh, touchdown or whatever and helped win that game. What about uh, pro basketball? Pro, I mean, you're basketball. You play. Yes. Do you like the Charlotte Hornets? Follow them at all? Uh, I watch them. I, I like to see how PJ Harrison does. Mm -hmm. I watched him growing up at Dudley when I was little. So I like to see how he's doing. How do you think? Did they win or lose last night? Uh, they lost last night to the Miami Heat. Yep, got beat by the Heat by 10 last night. Yeah, something like that. Whenever you play that first game, I usually track that pretty close. Mm -hmm. as you get more than some of the games, you can't keep up quite as many as you like to. But that yes. first game is always a big game. Um, Carolina Panthers, 6-0. Is this That's a my seven, team right there. Is this a 7-0 team? Yes. Playing the Colts on Monday night. Andrew looks playing bad right now, so I hope he play back next week. If you had to buy or sell, do you uh, keep or buy Cam Newton and sell luck? Do you go ahead and get rid of luck or keep Newton? Keep Newton. Newton. Newton's looking good. Looking real good. Three interceptions, they still won that game this past Sunday night. Mm -hmm. They didn't look bad at all. I mean, Josh Norman, if I could be Josh Norman, I could be Josh Norman. <laughs> that guy is living a good life right now. Yes, he's and, playing uh, real good. Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley, the tackle. I like Luke Keekley. Fun to watch. Fun to watch those guys. Baseball, keep up with baseball? Yeah, I keep up with baseball. Mets or Royals, who do you think might win? Uh, Royals are up two games none. They probably win this World Series. Yes. Take that and go with it. Um, put you in the time machine. Go ahead, 20 or 30 years. What do we see Ray Sean? Are we going to call you Ray Knight or Ray Sean in the future? I'm going to prefer Ray Knight. Ray Knight. Yes. And I saw somebody mentioned on the website last week they put your number. Was Ray Knight. That was the guy who used to play third base of the Mets. This is the Ray Knight of the Southern Gilbert. Yes. So Ray Knight, what do we see Ray Knight down the road? Um, well, if I don't uh, uh, continue college, uh, to continue football in college, then I'm uh, going to attend NC State and study human biology and hopefully to become a doctor. Really? A doctor? Yes. <laughs> Serious business. This guy, CJ, if you think he really, he wanted to be a pediatrician. The guy from the mm -hmm. Southeast pediatrician. So you're going to be a, again, a doctor. A doctor. Heading yes. toward NC State. Yes. You think it might be an animal doctor or human doctor? Human doctor. Human doctor. Yes. Good deal. That's, if you pull all that together, that's definitely the way to go. Um, Halloween candy bag. You got the Reese's peanut butter cup, you got the Twix, you got the Jolly Ranchers, you got the Babe Ruth, you got the Snickers. Among those items there, which one must Why? stay in that bag? You can't Snickers. take that away. Always going to stick Why? with Snickers. If you can, to close this out, Ray Knight. Yes. Go, Ray, go Ray Knight. Um, tell us about your coach, as far as Coach Brown goes, what he has helped, how he's helped you develop as a player with this team. Tell us about Coach Brown. You no, know, he's just a really good coach. He pushes me hard. You know, he fuss at me all the time. I don't get, I let it, I don't let it get to me because I know he wants me to do good. Um, I respected him last year how he told me, you know, I wasn't going to start and Stoner wasn't going to start. So I kind of let that motivate me, you know, just learn being on the sidelines. Took advantage of the weight room while I had the chance. So things like that. But he's really helped me out a lot. Listen, done a good job here tonight. Hope you enjoy your meal and good luck on going. Feel, feel pretty sorry about NC State then for the future. Yes. Have you applied yet? Going yes, to I have applied. All right, going through the process. Mm -hmm. uh, they haven't got back with you yet? Not yet. Not yet. Well, I have to send my scores in. Yeah, got to yes. take it to the SAT. He's getting ready to take that Yeah, soon. I'm going to be taking it December 5th, I believe. At Grimsley? Uh, it's going to be at Southern. At Southern, okay. Yes. I know the words going around about the SATs um, on the uh, GPA. How's the GPA these days? Uh, 3.8. 3.8? Yes, sir. 4.0 scale? Uh, yes. 
Four-point oh. scale, three point eight. So you're doing well. Yes. Keep up the good work. Thanks thank for you. being with us. All right, thank you. Ray Knight, as in Ray Knight, at Shane's Rib Shack tonight, Thursday, football in focus. We got Romello Herman up next.